Are the Isimiyaki on plissé trousers still the best trouser in 2021? Stay tuned to find out and more. Alright, what's up? Welcome back. Hope everybody's staying safe amidst COVID and the world ending. But today, we got more important matters on our hands and we are talking about the Isimiyaki on plissé trousers. So in this video, I'll share a little bit more about sizing, how I style them and you know, some pro tips from me after owning them for close to three years. And of course, we decide if they are still worth the call. So the on plissé trousers got really popular about two to three years back, but they seem to have fallen off as of late. I got my first pair around three years ago as well, but recently I managed to get my hands on a new pair. So they retail for a ridiculous amount of about three to four hundred USD on Essence, but I managed to find a listing for a brand new pair for only about two hundred and thirty sing dollars. So I had to cop it, and that's why we have this video today. The trousers are mainly characterized by the all-over pleating detail, which never seems to disappear even after you wash them. They are made of 100% polyester which makes it super flowy and super lightweight so it's really really comfortable especially in the heat and this is coming from someone that sweats a lot and lives in Singapore which is perpetually summer all year round. They come in a variety of colours, some of which are seasonal but despite that, they are colours that are part of their permanent rotation such as the black, the ice grey and the navy. They also come in a variety of different cuts while well, most people opt for the straight fit pair like the one I have here on screen there are actually many other styles available. For example, the other pair I have are a model JF207 which features more of like a balloon fit. The trousers work on a Japanese sizing system, so they go by sizes 1, 2, 3, etc. But the cool thing here is that the main thing that changes with size is actually the length of the trouser. This is most probably because of the elasticated waistband which allows you know, the trouser itself to fit multiple sizes. Typically, I'm a waist 28 but I can fit both a size 1 and size 2 comfortably on the waist. Oh, and because of the elasticated waistband, bloat boys, you can eat as much as you want and still feel very comfortable throughout the day. Alright, well, we're talking about the waistband. It is also worth noting that so far I've seen two different variations of this. So the first one I have seen would be a pen that features belt loops like these. And the other kind would feature drawstrings like these. So personally, I would recommend that if you are a smaller guy like myself, I would say go for the one with the drawstrings. So this gives you the option of tightening up the waist just in case you know you still feel your pants are too loose. And besides, I don't really see people wearing you know this trouser with a belt anyways. Another important thing to note here is that because of the way the trousers are constructed, you probably won't be able to alter the pants to a shorter length. In fact, the care instructions on the website specifically states that the design of the product does not allow for the sleeves or hems to be altered. So if you're on the shorter side and you, you know, still want to wear this particular trouser, I would suggest that you wear them high-waisted, you know, make use of the drawstrings and the elasticated waistband to fasten up the pants. Alright, I'm going to preface here that most of the outfits I am going to be wearing will have my wire boots on feet. This is because I'm currently clearing out my wardrobe and I don't really have many shoes on hand. But of course, you know, the trousers themselves work with most shoes such as, you know, Jordans or even any regular trainer. Alright, so I guess this is like a brown based look. I tucked in a tank top into the brown on plissé trousers and threw on a cream vintage Hawaiian shirt on top of it. And of course on feet I have my trusty SLP wire boots. For some reason I don't really see people wearing boots with the on plissé trousers but personally I think they look amazing especially if you know your boots are heeled and your on plissé trousers are of a straight fit. But of course as I mentioned earlier this will also work well with any other trainer like you see over here. This is a typical look for me when I'm out running errands and I want to feel comfortable. It is an all black look. I tucked in a plain black t-shirt into the black on plissé trousers and threw on a black beanie. For me to carry some of my smaller stuffs, I have on a small side bag and as for shoes, I threw on the Converse with the hearts. I know my shoes are broken but please excuse me, I'm saving them for a future project. I think the on plissé trousers just add some interest into a rather common outfit you know by giving it some texture and also not to mention how flowy they are. 
Alright, we're gonna attempt to play with colors a little bit here and I really hope it works. If it doesn't, you know, feel free to laugh at me in the comments below. So what I did here was I tucked in a short sleeve teal green shirt from Uniqlo into the brown on plissé trousers and on feet we have my SLP Wyatts yet again. So assuming this works, I think the contrast between the colors just make the whole look pop a little bit more. Then likewise, you know, any other trainer such as the Converse high tops which I have on here will work fine as well. For this one, we're gonna attempt to dress up a little bit. I have on the black on plissé trousers, but this time we tucked in a vintage tee which we flipped inside out. I felt the print on the shirt was a little too jarring, so I flipped it inside out to make it, you know, less visible. Over it, I threw on a thrifted blazer which I got from my previous thrift challenge video, link in the description below. Aside from that, on feet, we have my SLP Wyatts yet again. I swear I have other shoes, just subscribe and you know wait for them to appear in future videos. Alright, closing thoughts. Is it still worth the cop? Personally for me, yes, as long as you don't have to pay full retail for it. They are a very comfortable and very versatile pair of everyday trousers. And besides, they can double up as a pair of comfortable sweatpants if you ever get bored of wearing them outside. As for potential alternatives if you are broke like me, personally I say you could perhaps try out corduroy. Sure, you might lose out on some of the comfort and the flowiness, but you still get that kind of all over pleating detail, which to me is the most visually appealing part of the trouser. Oh, and fun fact, do you know that Isimiyaki made the black turtlenecks worn by Steve Jobs? All right, we have come to the end of the video. Are the Isimiyaki on plissé trousers still the best trouser in 2021? I love to find out your opinions in the comments below. If you want to find out more about vintage Levi's, you can click this video over here. If not, bye.